Hey everybody, it's the last Robokai here. Just me this time. We're uh, doing a little intermission for the High Chaos run. We're heading back to the pub now that we've successfully murdered the High Overseer and collected his black book. And that's going to help us figure out where Emily has been taken to. And there are a few little differences between uh, the Low Chaos version of this scene and the High Chaos version. We've, we've started to branch off a little now. And in this particular case, it is my failure to protect a certain guy. Captain of the Watch, and uh, and the and the also perhaps also the issue of me having you know poisoned a still and flooded everything with poison in the uh, in the bottle street on behalf of Granny Rag. So let's get stuck straight in, and uh, you know let's do a little bit of exploring, walk around the pub. Yeah, it'll be a good time. Admiral Havelock and Lord Pendleton are in the courtyard. I expect they'll want to congratulate you. As you can see straight up, guilt incoming. I'm gonna let you walk away from this one. My uncle's been killed, hasn't he? I know he never came back from the meeting with High Overseer Campbell. I don't know why I expected anything else. That's what High Chaos gets you, I'm afraid. Uh, yeah, uh, please ignore that. That's the uh, the DLC that I you know, gives you everything in the game. <laughs> if this is going to work. We have to take down the Lord Regent and all of his key allies. You know that. Yes. Hopefully the High Overseer is the first step along that path. And we must find a girl. Emily. Poor thing. Who knows what her mind is like being there when her mother was killed. I'd imagine the daughter of an Empress is tougher than you think. Hmm. Quite right. In any case, we won't get the Lord Regent until we weaken his base. All the pieces are in play. He controls the city watch. Through Campbell, he had the religious faction. Someone is funding the military. And he currently has a majority in Parliament. Yes, I'm aware of that. My brothers control the voting block for my family. I'm very much aware of that. You did it. Somehow you took down the high overseer Campbell against the odds. I knew you were our man, Corbin. With Campbell gone, we've hurt the Lord Regent immeasurably. And with Martin back, we'll have the finest strategist alive. The Lord Regent must be shitting himself in Dunwall Tower. Yes, and Campbell's journal, let's not forget. Our hope is that in these encoded pages, the location and condition of Emily Caldwin can be discovered. Our entire movement will mean nothing if we can't place the rightful heir on the throne. We must act fast. No doubt the Lord Regent is holding Emily somewhere, waiting to reveal her, to step out as the hero and further cement his regency. If he doesn't bring the young lady forth soon, there will be infighting among the nobles as to who should succeed the Empress. Yes, time is against us. But now you should take a well-earned rest, Corvo. We will decipher the contents of the High Overseer's journal and share them with you later. That animation. Place, Cute little bit of good wine is hard to come by. Well, you've drunk a little whiskey by the looks of things. Cute little bit of immersion gameplay here. Uh, as you can see, all those shots actually did hit the bottles and break them. And <laughs> cutely enough, you can actually create a nice little line there of uh, of whale oil canisters in front of the wine and set up a chain reaction that kills everybody. It's uh, it's one of those just those little touches I like when the game has a mechanic in place for even for like just like a cutscene sequence and you can mess with it. So it's quite amusing. This is just uh I wanted to uh, make sure I was showing it off as much as possible at the time. I know your sort. Most of my men that'd been in Cold Ridge prison. Well they had a bit of a rough side to them. I've made my mistakes. Alright, 
out of the room. Sailors tell tales of monsters far out to sea. But I'll tell you, there's strange things in this river no one talks about. Lights in the water, late at night. I've seen faces too. Yeah, the world of Dishonored is my not a very better to me than place. my father. He set a wonderful example for his family. Like by dying? You can't pin this on me. You know, he Mine, fell asleep there on is the job. something to you, isn't there? You went and spanked the high overseer in his own house. I hope the tools I designed for you function to your satisfaction. The fact that I am standing here and talking to you affirms that this is true in several ways. Well, the sword's definitely stabby. I'll give you that you? one, Piero. It's time to time to peruse our upgrades and the stuff we got from Griff's. Get ourselves our increased range on the mask optics. So let's throw that in. Oh, well, actually, first we're just gonna give ourselves a little bit extra space for bone charms. Yeah, as as we start getting more stuff, it'll it'll start getting a lot more useful. It's definitely worth taking. I was a little paranoid about spending everything here at this point. Because, uh, you never know when something awesome is going to be available to purchase from Griff's. It isn't, though, so you don't have to worry too much about that. Uh, you have to change your mindset doing a high chaos run. Usually it's like, oh, yep, gotta make sure I got lots more lots more capacity for bolts, lots more capacity for, uh, for trank darts and things like that. But uh, we want to have a lot more silly killing tools, so we're going to uh, we're going to make our spring razors a lot more killy, and uh, we're going to make our grenades a lot more grenadey. The inspiration is coming faster. My mind works faster. And yeah, these thoughts everywhere. These weird friggin' doors to nowhere. There'll be a lot of uh, reading of things we've probably already read before because I have absolutely no idea what we've been through. <laughs> Just uh, something to consider. Quite often in the uh, in the intervening moments, we'll find ourselves uh, able to. That really throws me off. That's that's just a DLC they threw in because reasons. I bought it. I think because it was like summer sale, and I just bought all the D DLC at once. I could have turned it off, but you know, I'm a moron. I'm not sure if that key there is the reward you get for that, for actually like saving the captain or not. My memory is very, uh... I was never in service easy. with a noble. That's not an excuse. You need to learn proper decorum. The Helm Pits has seen a few lords and ladies in its day. If they were here... Welcome back, Master Corvo. Right now, sir. Never mind that. Lord Pendleton ought to be shown the respect he deserves. I think what Lord Pendleton requires right now is a lot of alcohol. We are, uh... We are, we are discussing the uh, the murder of family members, uh, so I can imagine he's probably a little bit uh, a little bit unhappy. He thought he was paying a big price before. He's certainly going to be paying an extremely large one shortly. He's even trying to save them. Chapter right now. 28. Waverly, Waverly, Waverly. The very name sweeps one away. She came into our cold marble hall and brought light and warmth. She changed our lives forever. It was only later I realized she was a traitorous little weasel, like all the boils. I believe that's the first time we've heard the boils mentioned. I think Granny Rags has something to say about them as well. 
Seems they're a very well-known family. That looks got a lot more. Uh, got a lot more to say. So, uh, these two things are handy for sort of seeing where the plot's sort of going. You can walk into Holger Square and put down the High Overseer. And now we're faced with the question: Could he be dangerous? Events are going to move quickly now. The storm's rising. Could he be dangerous? Hmm. That's a that's a question you probably shouldn't ask when you uh, when you let loose a murderous revenge-fueled assassin. Curtsy, Cecilia. Curtsy. She's just she's. I don't I don't even understand how she can be this bad at her job. She's not even dressed like a maid. I don't know what her story is. I don't think I've ever seen her story. The, uh, aside from giving you way too many bone charms to play with, the DLC also gives you way too much money to play with, and like fiction on all the what are you doing in my room havelock. Just, just animating your shoulders. I see. Okay, get out. I'm going to bed. Fucking captains. Just go to sleep with my loud, thrumming sound of uh, bone charms in my ears. It's okay. I don't mind. Oh boy, it's time for an educational lesson. We get to learn all about weepers. Golden cat. Bricked up doorways just make me so sad. Could have been some way to adventure in, in there, and you just can't adventure in it anymore. Because bricks. Okay, so. They're outside. I know the Golden Cat. Not as a patron, mind you. I designed some specialized devices for them. I kept the blueprints. If anyone is curious. Don't. I brought you tea as a courtesy to a colleague. I won't make that mistake in the future. I'm sorry, I only thought... Never mind what I thought. Thank you for the tea. I have to get back to the Admiral. He has news for me. Yeah, Pierre is not really that good with the ladies, I guess. It's alright, dude. We're all, uh... We're all a little fumbly and stumbly with our, uh, with our inventions. I'm getting a frequency that reverberation that confounds some of my experiments. I suspect there are some kind of empty chambers beneath this building. I and built I some of this specialized equipment at that bathhouse myself. Hydraulics, you know. Handled wrong, it could do some real damage. Thank you for the uh, foreboding tip for the mission we haven't even had accepted yet, Piero. You're completely mucking this entire thing up. Hello, Corvo. I expect Martin will be joining us shortly. I hate to start your day with such a strange matter, but the servants heard something last night, moving through the storm drains beneath the building. Most likely a weeper, the poor bastard. There's no hope for them once the plague gets that far along. Nothing more than a shuffling corpse full of sickness and insects, if you ask me. I'd appreciate you investigating, just to be sure it's not a nosy guardsman that's getting too close. Here's a key to the hatches. I'd send a servant down there, but they'd die of fear on the spot, I'm afraid. Maybe Piero can concoct some sort of sleep poison for your crossbow if you want to go that route. Ah, hello, Corvo. And I believe the route he means is... There are important things we must discuss. But at the moment, it seems we have an unwelcome visitor anybody. here at the Hound Pits. The Admiral would like your help in investigating. Prior to sharing what comes next. Well, thank you for the attempt at uh, giving us a little bit of exposition of what was coming. So, there's the sounds of a weeper. What does that mean? Well, they're called weepers. I don't know if we've mentioned this on a previous video or whatnot, uh, but you may recall when we were doing the uh, the high overseer thing, there there might have been a few mentions of what happens when someone gets the plague, 
and uh, it's got a really terrible effect on the uh, on the human body, uh, as you can see. These these people are weepers, and the reason why they're called weepers is uh, if you've ever seen any of the corpses around the game, when I've looked at them and gone, oh, "Hey, corpse!" They have blood and ooze and stuff running out of their eyes. And uh, fun fact. The uh, the incendiary bolts have an arc, and I will never get used to them. I will also never actually hit a target with them. This is just yes, thank you. What's happened here exactly? Because it seems like someone was uh, someone was setting up something. But the only thing I can see that's that's remaining here is uh, is weepers. got several ways to access it and several ways to get out. Um, <laughs> this is not the way they really intended to happen, but I'm going to do it, maybe. I'll probably have to uh, check a few other locations, I think, just to be sure. Just to show them off. Like, because, while you can't access it from outside the pub, like, obviously this is the way to the basement, okay, so this is one of the ways out. We don't, we don't remember the basement in the pub. We've been down here, looted a few things. Great times. Cool guy nicked uh, whatever meager amounts of coin they had down here. Uh, another path is there's a there's a valve. We all love valves. You can turn it to get out. You can't access it from the outside. That's how they keep you from getting out there when everything else is normally locked. You went down there in the sewers. I thought I heard a weeper in there earlier. You're probably the bravest man I've ever met. Overseer Martin has arrived. He's with Admiral Havelock now. They want to talk to you. Cecilia, you broke me. What are you doing? Okay, there we go. <laughs> Weird. Corvo, I trust you remember Martin, an overseer before and perhaps again someday soon. I owe you thanks for my rescue. Indeed. You've given us a glimmer of hope, Corvo. Because we've gotten what we've wanted from Campbell's journey. You've done it. We know where Emily Caldwood is being held. The Golden Cat, of all places. A bathhouse for aristocrats. Little better than a cursed brothel. But there's an unfortunate twist. It appears that Pendleton's own kinsmen stand in our way. The twins, Morgan and Custis. Not only are they controlling Emily, but they have the controlling parliamentary votes we so desperately need. Yes, the Pendletons have to die. But most importantly, Emily must be brought here safely so we can protect her until the Lord Regent and his entourage have been dealt with. Pendleton's waiting for you on the dock. He's asked Who to is sweeping during my... I think it's best. Cecilia, could you please... Could you please just stop being worst maid? Let's go, uh... Let's go to bottom, maybe, uh... Corvo! Yeah, there you go, Orf. Corvo. I've asked to speak to you myself. You see, I'm sending you to kill my older brothers, Morgan and Custis. They're horrible men. It's true, as you may have heard. Cruel beyond words. Further, my but brothers still are close allies to the Lord Regent. And as long as they are in Parliament, we cannot gather the votes we'll need to stop the Lord Regent from further consolidating his power. These days, they're best known for exploiting their favor with him to cheat others out of their wealth. Let's just say that not every family evicted in quarantine for having the plague actually has the plague. I warned my brothers in every way I could. I really did. But they never did listen to me. They'll be at the Golden Cat tonight at their usual revels. They'll be protected by the City Watch. 
so it'll be dangerous. Now go. Please do it before I change my mind. A, uh, it's not an entirely favorable situation for uh, for him to be in. Have have to assassinate one's own siblings. But that's pretty much it. Um, don't know how much this will differ from the low chaos run. So uh, look forward to seeing that when Cool Guy has it up. See you all next all time well with Dishonored. I'll take you to the Golden Cat when you're ready. I've taken Lord Pendleton enough times, believe me.